dog. Like, I was literally in my basement crying my eyes out. Like, to God, face hurt body. Because I'm like, listen, God, I am trying my hardest to be a leader. I'm trying my best every single day. But it seems like I'm not getting nowhere sometimes. Right? It seems like I'm watering and I'm planting and I'm picking roots up and I'm doing a lot of dirty work. But guess what? It's like it gets so hard that it becomes so stressful that it's like, yo, why do I like I'm doing everything possible. When is it going to sprout? And sometimes, yo, we just got to deal with that. Ain't nothing that you could do. Ain't nothing you could do. Because you got to be like Paul and you got to be content on where you at. With or without the blessing, be content. With right. or without the money, be content. With or without, you know, be content. Because God has it all figured out. Clearly, we don't. But if we are content in understanding that, you know what? He going, I'm, I'm good with the blessings because I felt them. I'm good without the blessings because I felt that too. What I do know is that God going to be God at the end of the day. Be content with that. If you're going to be comfortable with anything, be comfortable with the fact that God going to be God. Straight up. And, and, and he going to do what he, what he set out to do. You may not like his decisions. You may not like how he moves. You may not like or whatever the things that he's shaping in your life or shaping in the world or the decisions or the things that he's allowing to happen because these things are supposed to happen. You may not understand it, but it's all right. But I know for me as a father and as a husband, it's the hardest thing to do is to watch and see that sometimes your family is looking at you like, yo, what's up, man? You're supposed to be doing X, Y, and Z. And then you mess up. And, and, but, but B, listen, for all leaders, especially men, stay the course. Stay the course. I promise you. It, it may look, yo, 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 your wife may want to sit there and be like, you know what? I don't even want to be here right now. Your, 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 your children may sit there and look at you like, you know what? What, like, what is this for? Right? Your job, your, the people in your business and everything, they be like, yo, like, like, whatever. I haven't heard it all before. Stay the course. Stay, the, and as, as hard as that is, you got to stay the course. Don't do this. Don't go and try and take matters into your own hands because that is when, the, that's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to take matters into your own hands so that you can, because in your hands, the blessing is going to fall. But in God's hands, the blessing is going to rise. Amen. Matt, I don't know if you want to finish it off and everything, if you want anything to add to that. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You said, you said some, uh, some great things and I got I to gotta chime in. Listen. For, for, for the audience, Matt in the back is going to load up these effects because Kenny been dropping the gems today. I need a <laughs> pew, 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 Facts. Woo, woo, woo. Unshakable. Facts. We need all that in there. All that. Next week, stay in tune. Let's get all it. All right, but anyway, leadership. You said some great things. You talked about, um, you spoke about, uh, help me. You spoke about um, the contentment, right? Yeah. And I want to just touch on that just a little bit. No, 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 no. Excuse me. You talked about the journey, discovery. That's yes. what I'm trying to say. All right, yeah. I'm there now. All right, so the discovery, the journey, I want to talk about that because sometimes we have to be mindful that this is a journey, yeah. is a walk, is a fight. The Bible says that the race isn't for the swift and mm. the battle isn't for the strong. Mm. Paul said in the word, he said, I'll finish the race set before me. I'll mm. press towards the mark mm. of the high calling. So this race is a lifetime race that we're going through. And if somebody is struggling with their purpose and calling, I want to remind you, because everybody went to school before at some point. And when you were growing up, the number one question as a child that you're asked is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. And that varies at each and every age. Yeah. You, first, you want to grow up, you want to be a dinosaur, an alien. Then you grow up, you want to be a firefighter, an astronaut. Then you want to be the president, right, you know? Right, right. And then you grow up, you're like, oh, it's social media. Now you want to be a fashion designer. Now you want to be, I want to play some basketball. I want to hoop so it changes, right? Mm. So then you begin to go to school and go on your journey. But see, you don't quit. When you get to high school, you meet with somebody called a guidance counselor. And mm -hmm. what do they do? They give you counsel and they guide you 
into the way that you're supposed to go. Amen. Catch the uh, yep. metaphor. You get yep. what I'm saying? And you meet with them periodically throughout the year. Yeah. But the guidance counselor that we need, we need it as often as we can each yes. and every day, right? Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to help you navigate that. They don't tell you. They lead you into a place of discovery. They don't say, you should do this, you should do that. They ask questions. They provoke you and they watch you while you navigate that journey and you got to be patient. Mm. While you're discovering that, you don't just quit. You don't say, I don't know. A freshman doesn't really, most freshmen do not know what they want to be once they leave high school. Facts. But they don't quit. They don't say, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Right. Just because I'm not walking in my career that I wanted when I was young, it doesn't mean I'm not going to get a job right. and I'm going to be frustrated. We have to learn how to keep pressing through. Mm. So some of us, you might be in a new place that that freshman year where you uncomfortable, everybody around you winning, you with the big dogs, but you got to learn how to plug in with your guidance counselor. So, and that's, that's God, that's mm. Jesus Christ. If, if I don't make that clear, yep. because he's the one that's navigating you to help you get to where you're supposed to be. Amen. And, uh, the other thing I'll say is this, sir, if you don't know what you're supposed to do, there are people that know what they're supposed to do. Right. Help them, serve them, serve a vision, be in those different places, and that place of discovery is going to come 100%. Bang, bang, bang. With that being said, y'all, listen, this conversation is too good. We're going to have to definitely do a part two on this one. So we out of time and everything on it today. But I want to know your I want to know your thoughts. I want to know, you know what you what you all think in the comments and everything below. Listen, it's the hardest thing to do. Leadership is the hardest thing, but everybody is a leader in some way, shape, or form. So I want you guys to go ahead and let us know what you think in the comments. Give us your thoughts on what on what was said today, okay? And give us your thoughts on on how we can on how we can all be better leaders from a godly perspective, of course, you know, and go and go in the way that he has called us to go. With that being said, y'all, please make sure that you like, subscribe, share this with a friend, share this with somebody that needs it, right? Somebody needed to hear this, somebody needed to hear the vulnerability in this conversation and everything today, okay? And we'll be back here next week on Unshakable Conversations. Remember, when we change the mind, we change the game. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow worry about itself, and today is all we got, and today is all we got. You make sure you impact today the best way you know how. If you want to go ahead and drop something and everything, uh, to us to, to help us elevate this podcast go ahead and make sure you click the link that's on the youtube right now and go ahead and donate a dollar five dollars anything helps to help us get to that next level all right with that being said for me kenneth Allen thomas matt in the back we see y'all later peace